YouTube, what's up? What's going on? Uh, it's raining here, and I am shooting a quick video. I got about 12 minutes till I'm at my destination. Got an investor presentation tonight. Um, just a quick update. Yeah, I'm still suffering from like the chronic fatigue and stuff, but that's really you know related to the poor sleep and, and the stress factors that I discussed in my other videos. But um, Overall, doing you know doing better. Uh, made a friend, you know he's a really great guy, um, angel from God, and it's really been helpful to, to kind of hear his story and how he's overcome some things that I'm going through, and I'm going through some things that he's he's trying to overcome. And I just wanted to say, from a physical standpoint, uh, mostly you know unless you consider fatigue you know, pain and the occasional flu symptoms. Um, I'm pain free. I overcame chronic headaches. I overcame chronic, uh, you know, I had, a, I had a chronic migraine. And I mean, I'm talking for over a year. Um, also, chronic sinus issues, post nasal drip. Um, I had that for a very long time. I did a uh, the, the most debilitating thing I ever came was obviously the interstitial cystitis, which, you know, slash prostatitis. That was awful. But, um, and now, in, and now the, uh, the, the depression, the depression, the fatigue, which ultimately leads, you know, to anxiety and they kind of cycle back and forth. And I'm going down a new path and I'm definitely using medications as a bridge and I'm actually not going to talk about really what medications because um, everybody's different and I don't want you to think what helps is helping me is going to help you. That would, you know, that's not good. I, I will shoot videos to do reviews on supplements and discuss the scientific uh, mode of action for them or so forth. But, um, you know, and I was just talking to my friend and I lost 60 pounds when I quit drinking, when I started running paleolithic like diet I, I don't do full paleo but um, I think really helped to attenuate a lot of my symptoms that I was going through so um, eventually I'm gonna write a book a second book and it's gonna be called somewhere along the lines of, of um, when the pain ends because when the pain ends for a lot of people there's sort of this PTSD this Stockholm Syndrome, you're so used to that pain, and it actually really grind, uh, grounds me. I, I suffered from really bad burning skin sensations as well. Don't have any of that um, anymore either. It's just, uh, just really tired, and, um, and, and learning to relax, learning to accept and surrender to God, to give this to God, that's the, that's the key, because... I've never known how to relax in my life. I also met a girl, that's, she's fantastic, and she suffered a, a burnout, you know, for years, and she was in bed for a year straight. And luckily she had a support system that could, you know, conduce it to her healing. Um, and a lot of you out there don't have that sort of support structure, so really need to, you know, reach out and pray about it. and. Um, my heart always goes out to anybody suffering from any of these debilitating symptoms and you can get wrapped up in the symptoms and they can really consume you and um, I've also overcame depersonalization which I sort of have I think um, if you measure DP or DR in degrees or um, from 1 to 10 10 being the worst I was a 10 and I've, I've been back to like a 2 um, and now I'm, I'm sort of, I don't really have it, I just feel kind of off, I kind of feel like I'm in an echo, but anybody that's not sleeping well, um, that's highly stressed and, and suffering depression has these symptoms. So this is, um, and sometimes when I'm coming out of it, it Definitely, I can feel extremely clear. Um, I have those moments in the sunlight you know, during certain times um, when I'm not when I'm not having to juggle a lot. 
you know, when I'm when I'm just waking up or when I'm going to bed and things sort of like ease, easing and pressure and the stress is kind of gone. You know, that's when um, I start to feel a lot more clarity. And but when things are you're picking up or if I have to go to an event, you know, it's very hard to to do life. You know. But that's when you have to redefine what life is, because for me, for a long time, life was just about making money and being, and that success model was ingrained in me and it really took me on and God really challenged me with that and, you know, God and myself, because I led a life away from nutrition, away from the lifestyle that we, you know, that really is healing and your body can withstand that for a long time. Your body can withstand a lot of stress, a lot of burnout, a lot of Dunkin' Donuts, right? Eventually, though, something's going to give. You're going to start suffering from more than likely fatigue. Um, and other symptoms are just going to go out of control. And to be 20 or 33, and to be, I've been tired for like eight years you know, pretty much non-stop until um, the depression lifted last year and the fatigue as a result was really lifting. Um, and I was starting to have the, the, the energy, I really kind of overdid it way too much, running like half marathons multiple times a week, running every day. So now I just gotta take it easy and listen to God told me to, to um, silence and stillness is the answer. And for someone like me, that's very difficult. Um, and I'm trying to balance that with also getting involved in the church or some type of social support group. And with the when you're tired and you can't really travel too far, it makes it very difficult. But um, but anyway, yeah, I'm doing um, I'm doing okay. Um, things could be a lot worse than just being tired. But. Um, yeah, so I'd love to see how you guys are doing and feeling and, you know, leave me some feedback. I, I, I love the support. Um, I love the connections that I've been able to make online and um, whether or not you're into God and Christianity, you know, that's not what, you know, my channel is, is about. My channel is about healing and health and um, he's just somebody that has entered my life and I know the closer I get to him, I feel more grounded and happiness. But anyway, God bless and I'll talk to you guys soon.